<clears throat> All right, hey, Shalom Akim, Shalom. First and foremost, as always, before I begin, I want to start off by giving all praise, all honor, and all infinite glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Rechak Wadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders, great millstone, taught us his truth through the Holy Spirit, and who do it well. Much peace, love, blessings, and many salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, I'm the brother Shapal. Out of the great millstone Dallas branch coming to you all again with another lesson. Lord, one of this lesson is edifying unto the flock of Yahweh Shem Shai. Alright. <clears throat> and, um, you know, today's date is uh, Saturday, September the 14th, 2024. Alright, the year, uh, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. Alright, in which it's been very promising. You know, the different events that have uh, risen. Uh, arose, if you will, throughout the you know span of the last nine months, and we still got a quarter of the year to go. But um, <clears throat> you know, a little more than a quarter. But you know, this is a lesson that I wanted to get into. Just something that's been on my spirit. Um, you know, as we come into all right the most severe time in uh, human history. All right, it's important that we're using wisdom, discretion. And, you know, utilizing the tools we've been given, all right, via the things that we're taught, all right, with not only within the scriptures, but via the experiences that our apostles and elders and even younger brothers like myself have, all right, uh, encountered and experienced and are able to expound upon, you know, because as the scripture says, you know, real quick, uh, Sirach 34 Alright, Sirach 34 and uh, verse 9 and 10, it says, A man that hath traveled knoweth many things. Right, he has plenty of experiences under his belt. Alright, and the same thing when it comes to being in this truth for an extended amount of time, you have plenty of experiences under your belt. Of course, you know, brothers, that, you know, you got brothers coming in at young ages, you know, 18, 19, 20, 21, not much life experience, and then you got... On the other side of the spectrum, you know, because the most highs of balance, you got brothers coming in in their 40s, 50s, you know what I'm saying, which is also a very beautiful thing, who who they bring in, you know, experiences all right, from the world as well, and while they may not have been able to experience those things all right, while in the truth, all right, they still have that level of wisdom all right, that the Lord has given them to, you know, uh, via those experiences, okay? So again, Sirach 34 and 9, it says, A man that hath traveled knoweth many things, and he that hath much experience will declare wisdom. So again, coming into the most severe time in human history, all right, it's important that we're utilizing the tools that we've been given. All right? Walking with wisdom towards them, them that are without. All right? And this does because, you know, at, uh, at camp uh, yesterday, the noon camp out here in Dallas, all right, you know, the elder... Padar and the brother, uh, the priest Shahar, you know, were uh, momentarily they harped on the importance of turning the other cheek, you know, because we had this, uh, you know, we had this elderly lady just kind of like barge through as I'm on the other side, uh, you know, recording with my camera. And, uh, you know, she kind of just barged through and, you know, she was like, move. She's very rude and obnoxious, you know. Um, but it was an example that we had to use, all right, out in the world of turning our turning our cheek, man, letting people have it ultimately, right? But really, in this lesson, what I want to harp on is just how that not only applies with uh, people out in the world, whether you're in the grocery store, whether you're out shopping, whether you're out in the movies, where you know at a restaurant, whatever the case may be, all right. Of course, we know on the highways and hedges, there's a, especially a way that we conduct ourselves because you know we're, we're you know live and in effect so to speak you know scripture says give not occasion that the ministry may, bl may be blamed and that's you know that's open season when we out there on the highways and hedges you know so there's a there's a order and a conduct that comes with that you know but even within your own home man that's really what i want to harp on bro within your own home for you brothers man that have women okay that have a woman at home okay and she may not be you know, necessarily believe in the same thing you believe. She may not be on one accord with you, 
but maybe y'all were maybe you're in a situation where y'all were together before the truth or maybe you know you just kind of keep her keep her at bay with your beliefs and you don't really you know feed her too much but she still you know she's of the world at the end of the day right well you have to walk with wisdom in that situation as hell as well because look and it was beautiful because i just had a conversation with the priest osman wife as uh you know brothers were you know uh going out to eat and departing you know from uh fellowship and class and uh you know you were already out here in the world all right fighting <laughs> going through stuff like you know he mentioned the the taxation of the ministry and 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 the you know uh uh how that can you know that that's a weight on us as well you know it's not a it's not tremendous and unbearable but it's a weight nevertheless amongst all the other responsibilities that we have right you know the last thing you want to do is create a environment within your home right via your own words and actions okay that's that's another hell added on top of that right when you can just you know let your woman have it at times man you know the scripture talks about um uh in Sirach all right Sirach 4 and I'm gonna start at verse uh 29 you know the scripture talks about the tongue bro uh, uh, life and death lies in the power of the tongue okay so uh, it's not just important to be mindful about that <laughs> when when you're out in the world nah, but even even very much so at in your home bro because there's no where you lay your head you you should what you you know brothers we want to come home and that'd be a place of rest for us because we've been out fighting and going through hell all day and you know hey man i'll speak speak you know on my own behalf like i've done things and said things and you know that have ultimately hey yeah you, you know brought me to a, a certain point where you know, things aren't the best at home, okay? Lots of ups and lots of downs, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, without giving out too much details, but I'm just using that as an example because, you know, again, you don't want to be, you don't want to add another hell on top of all the other hell that we're going through here in hell, <laughs> you know? Here in Babylon the Great where, you know, we're, we're we, you know, we're, it's ultimately everything's out to defeat us 24-7. And don't let pride get in the way at home to where you may even be right 99.99% of the time when it comes to whatever conversation you're having with your woman, right? But, you know, a lot of times you just got to be like, okay, and let them have it. Let these women have it, brothers. Let these people have it. You know what I'm saying? Let them have it, man. Because the ramifications of your your words, oh man, that's in uh, that's in Sirach as well. We'll grab that one next. But uh, Sirach four and twenty nine. All right, it says, "Be not hasty in thy tongue, and in thy deeds slack and remiss." You see, so you not you shouldn't be, you know, just whatever comes to mind, you just blurt it out. You have to consider the consequences of your actions or even your words in this instance all right it says be not as a lion in thy house verse 30 be not as a lion in thy house nor frantic among thy servants so you're not supposed to be all you know this ain't our rest man you know these women they're, they're you know they're not uh, you know I, I like to make mention that hey we we always hop, harp on how, how we need new bodies because we can't get right you know to save our lives you know although we fight how much more so these women that are the weaker vessels they need new bodies too man you know what i'm saying a lot of them ultimately gonna have to be destroyed and come back just as we get on the you know jake men they gonna have to be destroyed on this side because they can't get right to save their lives they don't care to try you know what i'm saying but the women as well okay and you know the scripture talks about the unbelieving wife or the unbelieving husband shall be saved can be saved by the believing husband and the believing wife you know what i'm saying so that's something to keep in mind as well as things progress you know 
Hey, at the end of the day, whatever happens will happen, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I wanted to grab this as well. Um, uh, Sirach 28 and 18, it says, Many have fallen by the edge of the sword, but not so many as have fallen by the tongue. So think about the uh, all the various different you know wars that have taken place uh, i'm talking about close hand combat you know more more in the uh not in the modern times more you know uh uh in the ancient times you know swords shields right uh, uh axes spears you know chariots horsemen all those things right think about all the deaths that have occurred but it's uh, this this verse right here is telling you but more people have fallen or died because of the, you know they can't hold their tongue, man. Because of something something was said wrong and a spirit got agitated and shit popped off. You see? Ultimately, in the times we're in, we have to use wisdom, bro. And I'm hey, I'm speaking for myself first and foremost. We have to utilize the tools we've been given. The apostles, the elders, bishops, brothers. They they be going and you know. They go into from time to time, you know, uh, uh, you know their own experiences when when it comes to women in their in the household living with a woman. You know, usually it doesn't turn out too well, all right. Especially when brothers, you know, come into the truth, right? Uh, it was another verse that I had in mind. Um, it's like you. You know what I'm saying? But I am in transit, so forgive me <clears throat> for my little all over the place. But, that, I mean, that was pretty much the point, man. You know, utilize the, the, the tools you've been given. You know, use wisdom. Uh, uh, let your speech be... Uh, let's, let's grab that one. Speech season. Yep. Col uh, Colossians 4, verse 5 and 6. It says, it's like it's traffic right now. It says, uh, Colossians, the book of Colossians 4 and 5. It says, uh, walk in wisdom toward them that are without. Without what? Without this truth. Without the, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that you have. You see? That's ultimately where turning the other cheek comes into play. Okay, it says redeeming the time. Right? Buy back the time. Right, make the most of the time you've been given. You know what I'm saying? It takes a, a humble spirit to take the low, even when they know they're absolutely right and correct in their approach. You know what I'm saying? Especially you deal with the so-called black woman. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll tell you from experience, like Eve just thinks she got it. You know what I'm saying? But there's things you can do. You know. Uh, Outside of the home, that you know, that maybe you know, as as the apostle Paul said, all things are lawful, but not all things are expedient. It may be lawful to do, all right, but again, this ain't our rest, man. So you 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 know, your girl goes through your phone, and boom, she she sees some shit. <laughs> now you're in a situation where. Uh, you catching hell at home too, man. All right, Colossians four and six. It says, "Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man or woman." You see, every man or woman. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta utilize the tools we've been given, man. And that's you know this this lesson, all right? This digital epistle. Hey, this is towards myself first and foremost, man. You know, I'm telling brothers from experience. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Utilize the tools you've been given, man. With that, you know, Lord willing, this was edifying and closing. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. By Shem Yahushai, by Shem HaKadosh. Double honors again to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Much peace, love, blessings, many salutations to the elect. Shalom.